Wi-Fi. It lets us tweet, surf the web, and watch live streaming shows. These days, though, many of us go nuts if we're not near a hotspot. But is Wi-Fi really the greatest thing since sliced bread? Today on Xiology, I'm wondering, can Wi-Fi be harmful? Now, Wi-Fi radiation is part of the electromagnetic spectrum that's all around us, and more than 25,000 articles have suggested it's safe. But there are scientists on both sides of the debate, and here's why. To start, why not jump right into the bad news? Guys, I know you were worried about hot tubs and speedos, but a recent study says that Wi-Fi may be nuking your sperm. A recent study took sperm samples from 29 fertile men. They placed a petri dish of sperm under laptops with Wi-Fi turned off and Wi-Fi turned on. What they found was pretty shocking. Sperm exposed to Wi-Fi enabled laptops were lazier, less concentrated, and had more DNA damage than their unexposed brothers. But still, early days and more research needs to be done. Now, while low-level radiation still hasn't been proven to hurt human beings, it may have an effect on our much smaller and possibly more sensitive friends. Swedish neuroscientists placed routers 30 centimeters away from ant nests and had the devices switched on or off. Soon enough, ants near Wi-Fi signals started moving more slowly, and if exposed for up to 30 minutes, would need six to eight hours to recover before they began foraging normally again. But perhaps the simplest and most visual example comes from an award-winning Danish high school science project. The students put six trays of garden cress in a room without Wi-Fi and six trays in a room with a wireless connection. As you can see here, after 12 days, the seeds near the routers did not grow. In fact, some were even dead. So here's the thing. I'm not about to give up my Wi-Fi anytime soon, and I'm not saying you should either. But then again, I'm not a guy, I'm not an ant, and I'm not a watercress plant. Lucky, lucky me.